welcome to gc ready technologies resume preparation tips resume preparation is an important activity in a person's job career people prepare cvs when they are fresher and prepare resumes whenever they want to uh, company change or job role change etc see what is a resume most recruiter recruiters ask job candidates to send their resumes alongside cover letters and recommender information in academia they ask for curriculum vitae cv they are rarely requested in a business setting next in the business world a resume is a document that lists a person's professional background and skills it can cover a variety of topics including uh, your professional summary prior jobs education certifications licenses skill set hard skills and soft skills hard skills means subject skills soft skills means communication language team management etc next awards and honors next uh, important tips for preparing resume first uh, it is not a sequence make sure your resume is ats friendly ats application tracking system it is a software see many large corporations or many large organizations use something called application tracking system ats software to sort through the many applications they receive on a regular basis these systems search for keywords and parses relevant to the position and filter out applications whose resumes don't include the content the employer is looking for so make sure your resume is ats friendly next look for keywords in job postings say the best place to start when preparing to write a resume is to carefully read the job postings that interest you as you apply for different jobs you should study each job description for keywords that show what the employer is looking for is an ideal candidate for an for in an ideal candidate include those keywords in your resume where relevant next look at other resume examples for inspiration uh, fortunately there are plenty of resources available online that can help guide you reviewing resume samples written by other people who work in your industry is a helpful way to jump start the resume writing process and show you exactly what you need to put on your resume next choose a resume format that works for you see what are the best formats for a resume well that depends there are three types of resume formats a reverse chronological resume next to functional resume next to combination resume see functional resume is suitable for fresher uh, fresher cv functional format next reverse chronological resume format is suitable for experienced people some some people may use combination resume next set your font size to 10 to 12 points while choosing a font is important making sure it is the right size is paramount keep your resume font size between 10 to 12 points 
so that a hiring manager can easily read it without spending next sixth one it is not a sequence keep your resume short and direct the number one rule of writing a resume is to keep it short and to the point the general rule is no more than two pages unless you have a very good reason for it to be longer like any extensive career or a lot of highly applicable work experience next uh, highlight relevant skills and experiences using the same resume for every job you apply for is not a good approach see once again using the same resume for every job uh, for every job you apply for is not a good approach instead your resume should target the specific job you are applying for so prepare dynamic resumes don't have static resume okay be sure to prioritize the skills qualifications and the experiences that are directly applicable to the job you are trying to land next demonstrate results with numbers and metrics when you write about your previous work experience it is always a good idea to quantify your successes with numbers using metrics can highlight your achievements and give the hiring manager or recruiter a clear scene of how you impacted your previous place of employment next uh, list your social media profiles just a minute ninth one list your social media profiles many hiring managers today screen candidates on social networks uh, save them a step by providing your profile links on your resume seasoned a uh, seasoned applicants with a professional social uh, presence would do well to include urls for their linkedin profile twitter account and blog if applicable next make sure your contact information is up to date after you change your email address double check that the rest of the contact information on your resume is accurate you don't you don't want to miss any interview because you put the wrong phone number on your resume next experience first education second see unless you are a recent graduate means fresher put your education after your experience chances are uh, your last couple of jobs are more important and relevant to you getting the job than where you went to college so experience first education second for experienced people resume for fresher resume education may be first next include both hard and soft skills today's recruiters are not just looking for hard skills hard skills means subject skills they want to be sure that you can tell in their offices too depending on the job you are applying for include a mixer of both hard and soft skills soft skills means communication skills etc hard skills means subject skills next optimize job descriptions job descriptions are you uh, your chance to appeal to both screening software and human readers be sure to include keywords from the job description thank you